My next guest was one of the big winners last weekend at UFC 270, getting her first UFC victory over Kay Hansen. It is Jasmine Jezavidius back here on the program. Jasmine, how are you? I'm feeling great. <laughs> I bet. I bet. And you're still in Vegas, too. I'm sure you've had a chance to sort of enjoy yourself these last couple of days, especially coming off that performance. Yeah, I'm still in Vegas. I leave uh, tomorrow morning. So uh, just, yeah, exactly like you said, in, enjoy in a couple more days in the sun. There's a huge snowstorm at home. So yeah. <laughs> I'm really trying to take advantage of being outside for a bit. Yeah, no, no rush to get home with that weather. Uh, trust me, I, I know about that. Um, were you surprised going into the fight? I don't know if we talked about this. Uh, you were like a two to one underdog in the betting line. Did you know that going in? Um, I did a little bit, but I was like, I was happy about that because I knew I was going to be able to make a bunch of people money. You know, all, all my friends, they always bet on me. And, uh, it's funny cause a bunch of people messaged me and say, like said, Oh, I got you when you were, when like before the numbers got swayed a little bit. And, um, so there was like a lot of people that made some good money on me. One guy bet like 10, K, uh, two guys, 10 K, another guy, 20 K. So he made 20. Yeah. What the guy that I'm staying with in Vegas here, one of his friends, but he also put a hundred K on gone, but uh. Ah, it happens. It happens. That was a close fight in the main event. And we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Do you, do you think that's just because, you know, obviously Kay had more fights, but do you think it was just people, you know, the fact that she's kind of a popular fighter on social media and for some other reasons as well, do you feel like that maybe played into it too? Or do you think it's just people didn't watch your fights? Um, I think it was kind of a combination of it all. Like, uh, yeah, they didn't really watch my fights, but also it's like, I, you know, I don't have any fights in the UFC. So they think it's like a big step up and mm. I like, you know, I think it was like just a little bit of everything, but I'm glad they're sleeping on me. I don't know if they're going to next time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, and again, you, you go out there and get the victory. Uh, it seemed like you followed the game plan. Is that accurate? Were you, were you happy with how things went in the fight? Yeah, I like definitely followed the game plan. The, the, the plan coming in, we didn't have a plan if it was like going to be striking, grappling, whatever. It was just like, be ready for anything. And, um, but the, the kind of mantra or whatever, the kind of key points for camp was no shortcuts. So that was like, no, no shortcuts in striking is like keeping a good guard, keeping your feet under you. And then no shortcuts in grappling is like, stay heavy on top. Don't be jumping on submissions. Don't, don't do anything wildly. Don't put yourself out of position. So I, um, I feel like I, I, did that like it was really hard though because I wanted to fight I wanted to just like bang and go crazy like all my other fights but uh but I'm like no I've done this before where I went I went crazy and gassed myself so I wasn't gonna uh, do that again I I wanted to make sure like this is my debut so I wanted to make sure I was just like getting through it you know what I mean getting do, being clean and and doing it proper yeah, and, and uh, obviously I know game plan's a big thing with you and your coaches uh, when, it, when it comes in. Um, was there anything about Kay that, that surprised you a bit in the fight? Anything that you weren't expecting? Uh, not really, but I think that's only because we didn't have expectations coming in. We, we understood that this fight could, could go anywhere. And um, so, so nothing surprised us because we didn't, we didn't say, oh, she's going to do this she's going to do that you, you know it was we we were very open about what could have happened okay and so it goes to the judges scorecards you've been there before on the wrong side of that before just one time in your career but were you pretty confident you had the yeah. victory i was super confident i uh i feel like no one was being me that night like i i felt i felt great and um you know, it, there was that little bit of like nagging in the back, like, you know, maybe, what if it, you know, she's hometown, what if it does go her way? But I was thinking, I'm like, I don't think, I don't think so. Like I had good, good control on top. I, I was clean. I didn't, I wasn't all marked up. And, and, uh, so I, I thought that I, uh, I believed I had it. How did you celebrate after the win? And nothing too crazy. We like got some pizza and hung out with my team. Uh, you know, it's so exhausting fighting and like the whole day of and everything. So I just didn't have the energy to go and do anything. Still, I kind of feel like I'm I'm still catching up a little bit. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, 
it, we didn't do anything crazy. More when I get back home, then that's when we'll celebrate a lot more. Let's just, yeah, let's hope everything's open, though. We'll see uh, how the restrictions are back oh, in Ontario. Yeah. But uh, not not to be a downer. I'm just, you know, you know how it is. Um, <laughs> and now, uh, did you get a chance to watch the rest of the card or when you went out or did you miss it? Um, no. So we came back to the hotel. We get shuttled back. And then I showered, changed. And then we uh, went to the venue and watched the rest of the fights. But, you know... I was hardly watching them because I was still just so like jacked up from mine. And I'm just like getting, I was so excited just like meeting all the fans. And so I was watching them, but not very close other than uh, Moreno's fight. I watched that one close, but yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. How did you score that one? Cause some people felt like it could have gone the other way. What, what just, you know, I know you were kind of like probably checking your phone as well, seeing all the nice messages, but uh, what, uh, what, how how did you feel? uh, Did you feel like Figueroa was the winner? I think yeah, he did enough. Like I can, I I could definitely see it going his way. At the same time, I I could have saw it going Brandon's way as well. It was a great uh, fight. Broke my heart, man. It oh, I'm so just like uh, I felt so bad for like him and his team and his family. They were they worked so hard, but uh, you know that unfortunately it it happens. And uh, but. Yeah, I I watched that. Fight. That was the only fight I actually really watched. <laughs> okay, no, I like the honesty there. And kind of on that note, what what's been the feedback from your Canadian fans? Because obviously, uh, you know, there's not a lot of Canadians in the UFC. You're the first Canadian uh, to pick up a win this year. I know we're only two events in, but still, that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's so it's so cool. I got so many supportive like messages. It was crazy, like especially from from my hometown in St. Catharines, but like literally from everywhere. I I thought you know you're fighting the the hometown girl. I would have some haters at least, you know. But it was it was unbelievable how supportive everyone was, and just like sending me really nice like hey just want to let you know we're cheering for you like some like stuff like that it uh it really like warmed my heart and it 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 made going into the fight like that much more comfortable because i'm like i know that even though these people don't know me they're they're like rooting for me It, it felt so good and, and the syndicate girls, too. I saw Emily Whitmire and a number of fighters, you know, giving you props going in like that, you know, seeing like fellow UFC fighters come to bat for you. I know you train with them. That's still got to feel nice too, uh, giving you a nice boost into the fight. Yeah, it, it felt amazing. Yeah, all the all the support from like the girls at the team. And then uh, yesterday I went and just watched their pro practice and everyone comes up, hey, congratulations, congratulations. That's we awesome. did like a, a picture after and uh, like Caitlin put me on her shoulders and it was it was so nice celebrating with them. And I don't know if I've asked you this before, like your background originally, you're Lithuanian, is it? What's your last name? Like, where does it come from? It's, it's Lithuanian, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'm Lithuanian, but, uh, you know, I'm getting so much, so much hate on this. Like, she doesn't even know how to say her last name. But uh, so when my grandpa came to Canada, they told him, okay, like you, you enter Canada, this is how your name said now. Like, okay. it's, so, so that's why we go with Jazz Divisius. But yeah. I do understand, I know my, it's actually pronounced Yesadavichis, or like because I'm not married, it's actually Yesadavichute. And uh, so I do know the, the correct pronunciation of my last name but we'll uh, just ignore those yeah. people those people are annoying anyways i even get that when it comes to fighter <laughs> pronunciations like i wouldn't worry about it but anyways the reason i asked is because have you noticed that fan base supporting you as well because again i don't think there's a lot of lithuanian fighters in the ufc yeah no i really have it's uh it's cool because i think like the the next kind of like obviously rose more popular than me she she's lithuanian as well and uh so a lot of times like when somebody will make a post they'll they'll like put me in the same category as her which is absolutely crazy so uh so i love it yeah the support from from lithuania it's it's amazing that's awesome um when are you looking to get back in there i know we're just fresh off the wind you got to enjoy some time at home as well but ideally when would you like to have your next fight you know, I'm not too sure. I uh, obviously took no damage. It's I, I can't believe it. No bruise, not literally no no uh, no marks, which is crazy because all my other fights I was banged up as hell from <laughs> by the end yeah. of it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't I don't know. I um, I wouldn't be opposed to jumping on something short notice or you know taking a taking a maybe a 
two weeks or a month and and chilling and then jumping back into camp. I I don't know. I haven't decided yet. My my coaches they left yesterday and um, I leave tomorrow. So when we when we reunite on Thursday, I, we're going to talk about it more and uh, kind of figure out what we what we think is the best option. If you did have a fight later, I imagine you'd want to go back to Vegas and do another camp down there a little bit. Because I know you had a great camp at home this time, too, because you got to work with a lot of women, you were telling me. Yeah, I had an amazing camp. I mean, uh, at the same time, my last camp for Contender Series was also amazing. You know, it, uh, it, both camps were, were great and both, both have, you know, their pros and their cons. Um, so you know, I think it would just depend next on like the the time frame of when when my uh when my next fight is like you know with Canada everything's touch and go we might get locked down again and then I'll definitely be back in Vegas so or maybe we open up and then maybe potentially I stay back home so I don't know we'll we'll see any uh any opponents in mind or you just leave that up to your coaches and management uh nothing in mind but I had a What's her name? King King Casey do one of those yawn face on on one of my pictures. Really? Or, hey, yeah. At least you're getting so, her attention. That's pretty cool. That, that's what I'm saying. So I mean, I'm I'm hoping to get that matchup. Maybe I can leapfrog a bunch of people. And uh, she's she's fighting. I think Roxy, right? She is. So, yeah, your teammate over at Syndicate. So yeah. Yeah, Roxy pulls out. Man, I I'm gonna keep my weight low, and uh, I'm gonna try to jump on that. If if God forbid something happens to Roxy, hopefully not, but. There you go. Interesting yeah. development there. Um, yeah. Last question, and most important question. Any update on the tattoo? Has there been any headway on that? You got your first UFC win now. I think this has got to speed up the process a little bit, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. We, uh, when I get back home, we're, we're going to uh, book it. We're going to figure it all out. It's, it's happening soon. We'll definitely document it and everything. Awesome. Jasmine, thanks for the time. Safe travels back to Ontario. Uh, anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. No, just thanks to uh, my, my coaches for being there and my training partners. You know, the, I think we're the best in the world. And, uh, you know, I'm looking to put Niagara top team on the map and uh, just show the world that Canada's here.